When US President Donald Trump abrogated the Iran nuclear deal, harsh sanctions kicked in to further squeeze the Islamic Republic's struggling economy. The US Treasury Department dispatched teams to Europe, the Middle East and East Asia to brief allies of what is now a global audit of Tehran's finances, trade and shipping. For the Trump administration, this was a necessary course of action to compel Iran to fall in line. Washington's list of demands is lengthy. It echoes the sentiments of Saudi Arabia and the UAE, who have long been concerned about Tehran's ballistic and cruise missile capabilities. The new restrictions on Iran will have a telling impact on Gulf states, particularly Dubai, which has had historical trade relations with the Islamic Republic. Qatar and Amman also maintain strong commercial links, ties that have gained more significance since the diplomatic spat between the Arab Quartet and Doha. While the US would like to exert maximum pressure on Tehran, the economic costs of such a move will put a strain on Washington's allies in the region. Hence, it would bode well for the Gulf states to weigh their options as the Trump administration clamps down on Iran's economy.